Hello from Fine Arts. Today we're going to be making a monkey and we're going to be focusing on texture and we're going to use our crayons to show texture and we're going to use our watercolors to paint lots of beautiful colors. Now when we're doing this today I have a few drawing guides that are going to be in the lesson. So the one is going to be on monkey faces. So I want you to think about how are you feeling? So today you're gonna let your monkey express your emotions. You're gonna show the face with how you're feeling. Also, a monkey lives in the jungle. So you're going to be adding leaves or branches to your background. And I have a drawing guide that I made with different samples of leaves. So you'll be able to use that also. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is start drawing our monkey. And I'm going to be using crayons to do that. Also, notice that our monkey is going vertical, up and down. So um, that's how we're gonna have our paper today. All right, I'm gonna move this aside, get your art supplies, and here we go. Now the first thing that I want to start with is a border since we're just using one piece of paper. So I'm going to grab my green crayon and I'm going to uh, draw a straight line all the way down with my green crayon and I'm going to draw a straight line across okay, and a straight line down and a straight line across. So this will create a border. Okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is sign my artwork. Because every artist signs their artwork. I like to do it at the beginning so we don't forget about it. So my name is Amber. I'm going to put my name in the bottom right hand corner. And I used a Sharpie, but you can use whatever you would like to use. If you are using watercolor markers today, um, for example, your watercolor markers, we're going to be painting. So if you put water over top of a marker, it's going to spread everywhere. So you should probably be using a permanent marker if you want to sign your name. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the monkey face. So to do that, I'm going to pick up my black crayon. Now I'm using a small crayon. You can use a big one if you want. And my monkey's going to kind of go not halfway up, about a third. I'm going to put my finger right here. And I'm going to say that you start with the number three. So let me show you. I'm going to turn my paper sideways. This is the coolest trick. You're going to love it. And I'm going to go ahead and draw with my crayon the number three. Ready? Here we go. One. I guess we should say three. Okay, and then I'm turn it this way. Oh, that's nice. Okay, now using the number three, I can I can round it around like this. Okay, didn't that make two the eyes? And then I'm going to come around, and I'm going to uh, loop this around. Okay, now if you wanted to use a pencil, you most certainly can do that. You decide whatever you want to do. So I'm gonna, oops, I pushed too hard. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. So I guess we need to go softer. So go all the way around. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna do all my drawing in crayon. The next thing I'm gonna do is, um, I'm going to draw it like around the, the head to get the face. So I'm actually going to do mine a little bit different. So I'm going to add um, some of these hairs that kind of poke up. One, two, three. And I'm going to go around and around like that. And I'm going to go around and around. Okay. And then inside, you're going to draw two circles for eyes. Now, again, 
you might want to look at um, the drawing guide attached because you can decide which monkey are you feeling like. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to do um, two circles for eyes. I'm feeling pretty good today. So I'm going to do like an oval and an oval. And then I'm going to fill those eyes in with a little bit of black. Trying to make them the same, but if they're different, that's okay. Okay, then I'm feeling pretty happy, so I'm going to go ahead and draw my big smile, give it a curl. Okay, and then I want to make sure that I add the nose to give it some dimension, so I'm going to start with a kind of like a curve, and then I'm going to do a loop. A loop and a connect, okay? And then I'm gonna add my ears. I'm gonna do a, a C and then a backward C and I'm gonna give it a little bit of a curve like this, okay? And I wanna give um, hair to the monkey texture. So I'm gonna take my black crayon and I'm gonna add lots of lines. So the lines are kind of going to cover up that, that, those lines that we put in. And this is going to create some texture. And, and then I'm going to add some more. Now they're going to kind of come down. Maybe I do some zigzags here to break up this line. darken this. So you make your monkey however you're feeling. Okay? Then um, our monkey is going to be, maybe I want to add, I got some room up here. I'm going to add some eyebrows. He's a pretty happy monkey. Okay, now I want to go ahead and add the body, and the body's going to be hanging from branches. So I'm going to just do kind of like a big oval, okay, and then I'm going to do some legs. Um, now my legs might be coming off, coming out, so I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to do like a seven, one, two, and then a backward seven. And I'm going to fill it in on the inside. So the seven and the backward seven. So I didn't add my feet because this one kind of doesn't have a lot of room. But that is okay. I'm fine with it. Now, um, around the body, we want to add texture. So now using your black crayon, come through and fill through that oval. And then add some lines. For texture which is actually like the fur. And maybe I'll darken it over here, a little bit of a shadow. Okay, so we don't really see that oval. All right, then the same thing with the legs, just a little bit. And I'm gonna have some. Okay, now before I draw the arms that are hanging, I'm gonna grab um, using my still my black. I'm going to make my branch up at the top. So I'm kind of just going to do like a look like a wave. There's one. And then I'm going to do one more. And I'm going to make this side thicker. And there we go. Okay. Now that is the top branch. Now I'm going to add the like arms, the fingers that are holding like one, two, three, kind of like a W with another, another curl. And then another one. One, two, three. And I kind of put the fingers above, kind of above the, above the head. Okay, now it's going to come down like he's holding on tight to that branch. So I'm going to do two lines here, and then I'm going to do, um, now this one I want to do two lines here. 
So those are the arms. Now I'm starting to see it. Maybe you were wondering, how can I see this? I think I'm going to darken these ears. Okay, and again, you have the creative freedom to do it however you want. Okay. Um, now I'm going to add some hair to the arms. Don't forget about that. Texture is our element of art focus this time. And then we want to add maybe a little bit to the, to the fingers. Okay, that's nice. This is going to look really good when we paint it. Okay. Maybe he's got some more hair sticking out. He's feeling crazy. Okay, now um, I'm going to add some texture to the branch, but I'm going to use my um, green, and I'm going to just do some lines. This will look really good once it's painted. Okay, just to give it some dimension. And maybe it'll be a little bit thicker down here. Okay. All right, so there is our monkey. He's feeling happy. Okay, now we're going to add some leaves to our monkey. So let me show you. This is... Um, the leaves that I drew. So this is a sample and you can use any kind of leaves that you want to and I'm going to use yellow and blues. All right, um, here we go. So I'm going to take um, my yellow and oh, maybe I'll do some greens too and I'm going to just put some leaves in there. I'm going to just do a few that are yellow. There's one, two, three, maybe there's three and then um, I'm going to draw a line in one, and then you're going to make like a V. There we go. Draw a line down the center, make a V. Draw a line down the center, make a V. Okay, now I'm going to grab um, my green and do the same type of thing. And maybe I have some different kind of leaves. So I'm going to do some that are um, more pointed, not as round. So um, I'm going to start with kind of like you're making an A, like that. And then I'm gonna do some, um, like some points down like this. Maybe it's a zigzag. There we go. Draw a line down the middle. And then um, I'm gonna make these ones go down. Okay, and then over here, I'm gonna do another one. Start with an A and then zigzag down like it's in a jungle. There we go. And um, maybe I want some more leaves coming out this way. And maybe one more. And maybe there's some off of this branch here. And maybe I want some blue ones also. Why not? and we're gonna get ready to paint. I think that looks pretty good. All right, let me turn the music on. Get your paints ready. Okay, so I'm going to start with the face, and I'm going to leave these white, okay? And I have a paper towel and some water. Wake up my brush. And um, to get the face a light orange, I'm going to add a lot of water. So over here on the side, you can kind of use your palette to kind of mix it. I'm going to add a whole bunch of water. Now that looks very, very orange. Okay, 
so maybe I will add just a lot of water to make it lighter. Okay, and then I'm gonna paint around the eyes and keeping them white. Maybe I'm going to paint the nose orange, but then I'm going to darken it up. You'll see. Okay. So the cool thing about crayons is it makes a resist. Darken some of this. And up at the top, I'm putting some darker colors. There we go. Maybe around the edges. Okay. So I'm going to add to the nose like black, just a little tiny bit of black. It's be more like gray just to darken it up. There we go. Okay. Now, the body of um, the monkey is all brown. That's at the bottom of your palette if you're using watercolors. Look at how the watercolor covers the crayons. Isn't that amazing? And I didn't use a brown crayon because I knew I was going to be using brown watercolor. And I'm going to do the fingers, and I'm going to do the branch a different color. I'm going to try to leave the border white. Now if I want to make the brown just a little bit darker in some areas to give it some more texture, I can take that black I have, just a little tiny bit, I'm going to add that black inside right here and you see how the black with the brown kind of makes it darker so it looks kind of like his tummy oh that's so cute maybe put some around his knees there we go oh that's so cute he's happy okay Adding some black to the hair up here just to give it some texture. Okay, now to do um the branch, I'm gonna use green with blue, okay? So I'm gonna do a little bit of green 
Go around those fingers. And then I'm gonna add the blue. Watch what happens. Oh, it's so pretty. So they kind of mix together like a blue-green. And I'm not gonna overmix them. I'm gonna just kind of let them, let them uh, play off of each other. And maybe I want it to be a little bit darker down here. Okay, now my background, I'm gonna use green with yellow. So I'm gonna start with um, yellow. You know how much I love yellow. And I'm just gonna cover those leaves and I'm just gonna sprinkle some yellow in some spots. some up here. Okay, now I'm going to grab my green. I'm going to go over top. And the green and the yellow will mix together to make like a light green. But I'm not going to over mix. Kind of just going to let those play off of each other. Oh, so pretty. Jungly. And if I get green inside my yellow paint, I'm not mad about it. We can clean it later. Notice the yellow and the green make a beautiful color. And if I wanted to make the leaves a little bit darker, I could grab some of that blue and make some of those leaves a little bit darker. So the blue and the green and the yellow kind of mix together.
if I want to make the branch a little bit darker, grab some of that black. Just a little bit. Maybe just on the top. Okay, then I go back, check all my details. Any white spots, fill them in. Okay, I hope your monkey is happy, but maybe it's grumpy. That's okay. Maybe it's silly. That's okay. All right, you can find all the details of this lesson um, on my slideshow. I hope you had fun in fine arts until we meet again. Let me show you both of them so you can see the difference. So I have one that's kind of big. Maybe he's a mama, maybe she's a mama monkey. And then one that is smaller. Maybe that's, maybe that's the little, little son. I'm thinking it, maybe it's one of my three sons. So, um, Go ahead and make your monkey any way you want. All right, I'll see you again. Thank you.